What's going on everyone? This is Nick Ferrer from Sky Sports and today I'm going to show you how to tag some basketball film. So to do all of your tagging you need to go onto your secured page which is where we are right now and you're going to hit the play button on the game that you want to tag. So the play button's right here, you just hit it and this is going to take you to our tagging area. So as you can see the top left part of the field is your game film. It's you know what you recorded top right is the grade players section and the bottom is the table where you do all of your tagging. Now for some of you if, if it's easier to see in a bigger screen we do have this expand button right here and it makes this the video a little bigger um, and you could still do your tagging down here and your grading players up there. But for now we're just going to make it uh, the small one so that you can see all the features you press play, you can see that this play is going to go, and it, what it's going to do is it's going to, you see the box repeat play, it's just going to keep repeating if it's checked. So he shot the ball there, and it's going to go back to the beginning. It's just going to keep repeating that play. If you uncheck it, it's just going to give you the, the game straight through. And this is good for if maybe you want to watch some of your, you want to pick the plays specifically so you'd be able to scroll through here and uh, play six okay I'll be able to watch this one and you can go scroll through a little more and play eight you can watch that one so that just gives you a little bit more freedom right there but for this purpose we're just gonna hit repeat play we're just gonna watch the play that we're on and if you click on the different plays down in the table it actually brings you brings up those plays on the on the on the screen right there so play five play eight it does all of that for you so, as far as tagging goes, we have these little these little boxes here that we, we call them fields, and you'll be able to drag and drop the fields to organize it however you want. If you want the offense lot down on that side and and the play call and the outcome right here, you'd be more than welcome to do that. You have the freedom to do that. But right now we're just going to hit the offense, defense, and and the free throw. We're going to have that first. So now you can also, you, you'd be able to hide this column, pick and choose which, which columns you are hiding. Another way to do that is to go to the table settings and you'll be able to bring up or hide the different fields that we have here. So if you click all three, all three will come off. You come back to the gearbox and you just want offense and defense, you'll be able to do that. Now, for tagging, what we usually like to do is we like to just get get everything tagged first. So for play one, if we're East Carolina, we're on defense. For play two, we're on offense. So you just hit the O button. For play three, we're on defense. Play three, we're on defense. Play four, offense. And so on and so forth. So, this is free throw. So, what you're able to do also is you can add a new column. If, if the column's not there uh, in terms of these columns, if it's not there and you want to add a new one, you'd be able to add one. So, for now, we're going to do test one, two, three. And that brings up your column right there. You'd be able to also hide this. And if you have information on there, when you hide it, it it doesn't delete any of the information so it'll still be up there when you bring the play back up or the field back up also you can like I said bring the outcome and the play call and then what you'd be able to do is for play one we're on defense the play call is going to be tight playing and tight today outcome let's see what happens Looks like a made two. Play two. For this play, actually, we we ran a different one. We're gonna say we ran Maverick. That's one of the, the offensive plays. So you'd be able to change to create new fields right here within the play call tracking area. If you hit new and hit maybe Maverick and you'd be able to maybe add another one uh, 
I'm gonna call this one the board. That's one of our plays. It's very effective. So you'd be able to add different plays that you want to add. So we ran Maverick. Let's see what happens. It looks like it was a miss too. And play three. We're on defense. Play call is going to be zone. And it looks like they made it too. So you, you keep doing that after all of your game is, is tagged. And that will bring you up with all the statistics that you need to really analyze the game deeper than what the naked eye can can tell and what also just you know writing down on pencil and paper would be able to show. We have reports that you can run, we have grading players fields that you can you can tell if the player did well, you can write down if they made a shot, they missed a shot, they had an assist, anything like that. So, you know, it's a very in-depth, intuitive system for you to use. And a lot of the things that you need to do are already here for you. So, you know, the grading players field is here for you. All you have to do is click made, you know, made a shot. It was a three. And it was player four. Made a nice three. So you'd be able to do that for any and every play that you have. So, again, that's just one of the ways that you can tag the basketball film it's a very, like I said, intuitive system to use, and it's very helpful to you to figure out really where you can fine-tune your game and where you are dominating in your game. So again, like I said, my name is Nick Ferrer from Sky Sports, and I hope you enjoyed the video.